let's start with the quadricep muscles. So this muscle here in the front, this is the rectus femoris, the rectus femoris. This is the vastus medialis, the vastus medialis, because this is the medial side. Here we have the vastus lateralis, the vastus lateralis. Underneath the rectus femoris, we have the vastus intermedius, which is the fourth muscle that makes up the quadriceps. So the quadricep muscles include the rectus femoris, vastus medialis, vastus lateralis, and vastus intermedius, which is underneath this muscle here, which is the rectus femoris. All right, so when I turn this to the side, okay, this region here is going to have the gluteus medius, and this of course is the gluteus maximus. And switching around to the posterior side, let's take a look at the hamstring muscles. This muscle here, this is the biceps femoris, biceps femoris. This muscle is the semitendinosus, the semitendinosus. Underneath the semitendinosus, we have the semimembranosus, which we see here and also here. So the biceps femoris, the semitendinosus, and the semimembranosus, all three of those muscles together make up the hamstring muscles. At the inner thigh, we have this large muscle here. This is the gracilis, the gracilis muscle. Lying just anterior to the gracilis muscle, we have the adductor longus, the adductor longus. Next, we have the strap-like muscle called the sartorius. This is the muscle that you use when you are going to cross your legs or kick a hacky sack. Now your shin is made up of the tibia bone and we have a muscle that lies over the shin bone. This is the tibialis anterior, the tibialis anterior. And you might remember lying laterally to the tibia, we have the fibula. Now the best way to find the fibula is to actually follow it from this is the fibularis longus, fibularis longus. Posterior to the fibularis longus, we get the soleus. The soleus lies just underneath the calf muscles. This is the soleus. The calf muscles are called the gastrocnemius muscles. And there are two of them here and here. So these are the gastrocnemius muscles. And we also can see the soleus on the other side underneath, underneath the gastrocnemius muscles. So this is soleus as well. And then we end up back where we came from.